Hey everybody, welcome to Brick Vault. Today in front of us are all of the Joker, Harley Quinn, and Joker henchmen minifigures ever made from Lego Official. There's a ton of them, and uh, we I really do have a good time making these videos, kind of doing a deep dive on the history of certain characters and how Lego has produced them and changed them over time. And before I get into the main bit of the collection, going through these guys chronologically from what sets they came out in, how much they are worth, um, I do want to say that if you like the stands, the minifigure collection stand that these guys are all in, uh, you actually can get them for yourself at our web store. That's www.brickvault.toys. Um, this is all American red oak. It's produced in the USA and uh, really, really high quality stuff. They come in a variety of colors, though I have a feeling dark red is my favorite because I've also used it for Darth Vader and a couple other guys. And I feel like, uh, you know, personally, the color combination just really worked for Joker and Harley Quinn uh, with the dark red here. But anyways, you can get these custom displays at our web store. That's www.brickvault.toys. You can click the link in the description below if you want to learn more. And also, guys, looking at this collection, there's actually one missing. I show her later in the video, but you can maybe guess. Guess which Harley Quinn is missing from this right now. The, the sum total should actually be 37 figs. Uh, but right now you only see 36. Okay, let's jump into the very first guy. Alrighty, here's the very first Joker, being the most expensive in the collection, coming out to 30 bucks brand new. He's the very first time you see the Joker in Lego. Pretty classic villain, so that sort of makes sense. He came out in the Batwing Aerial Assault set, plus the Joker Ice Cream Surprise set, as well as I think a couple other little Comic-Con releases and things like that later down the line. His detailing looks pretty darn similar to that from what you saw in the Batman animated TV series, though it's not exactly the same thing. I think just a little bit reminiscent with like the color of his vest. And in general, pretty darn good detailing. His, his face is unique here, just the one expression. He's got the Wolverine hair molded in green and, uh, and an orange vest. I really like that guy looking pretty darn good, but we've got a lot of guys to go through in this, so let's move down. His henchman. This guy appeared in the same two sets that I mentioned earlier. Um, and there's nothing really special about him. He's got a purple shirt to match Joker's purple suit, so there's that. And other than that, uh, he's got a pretty standard bad guy face that appeared on several other bad dudes throughout this same timeline. He's six bucks. And then Harley Quinn, I actually had her labeled at, uh, at the release year of 2006 in the first video. Oh no, her hammer's so big. I keep on hitting the other figs. Uh, she's She actually appeared in the Bat Cycle Harley Quinn's Hammer Truck set, which appeared in 2008. So she's actually a 2008 release. Really nice though. Her detailing also matches Harley Quinn from the animated series and she came with both this hammer and a pistol. Great detailing though. This is what she looks like from the back. Awesome, awesome looking fig. Does she have an alternate expression? I don't think they were doing it back then. No, no, no. She doesn't have an alternate expression. Really, really nice though. You can really tell that that face is meant to look just like her face from the animated series. Now let's move on. We are officially in the DC Superheroes line from 2012. This is Joker with a lime vest. He doesn't have detailing that necessarily mimics anybody you saw from any of the series. He looks pretty darn good though with a Tommy gun with the flag that sticks out. Uh, he's from the set Batwing Battle Over Gotham City. That was his first one, plus the Dynamic Duo Funhouse, which is a pretty big one. And there it is. This is the probably the most common face you see of the Joker. He's also got this alternate expression, relatively common. And because he's uh, seen so many times, he actually came out in four sets in total. He's actually three bucks. Now this henchman who is also from the Batwing Battle Over Gotham City set, and he only came out in that set and now he's an exclusive guy uh, i think the print for his torso yep definitely exclusive i really like that joker print for his face and of course the face print itself is awesome he's an angry clown that's actually a pretty useful one he's seven bucks because of his uh exclusivity and there's some pretty unique prints that actually go out for him i like the look of that guy and now we've got the other the next harley quinn which still very much looks like harley quinn from the animated series, though they've actually changed her face print. It's different now, it's a little bit more Lego-ified, and the print for her body is, I guess, slightly cleaner. The negative space for her hips are in dark red, which looks a little bit nicer, 
and the white detailing up towards the top of her chest has changed slightly, but it's actually not quite as close to the animated series. Hat remains the same, and she appeared in the dynamic duo Funhouse Escape set like before, and then later down the line, a team pack for Dimensions. She is $6. And then our first prison, Joker, came out in the Arkham Asylum Breakout set from 2012. He is 12 bucks. So this was a really, 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 really fun set. I think people absolutely love it. It's super collectible nowadays. And uh, he's got still the basic face print that's not any different. And the only thing really exclusive about him is the fact that he's uh, got an exclusive prison print for his jumpsuit on his torso. That's the only exclusive piece. He's a $12 fig, kind of interesting, but we do get a lot of prison jokers later down the line. And then from the same set, we get Dr. Harleen Quinzel, or you can see actually her Harley Quinn uh, suit underneath underneath the uh, the white print there. For whatever reason, she is $13 instead of 12, so slightly more slightly more uh, uh, collectible, I suppose, than the Joker from the same set. And now we've got the Dark Knight Joker. This is probably uh, most people, a lot of people's favorites. This is to look like Heath Ledger's Joker from the Dark Knight. Um, and he is, you know, one of the most iconic versions of the Joker to have ever existed. Really, really nice. You can see that they've exclusively molded this hairpiece in green now for him. He's got the special, uh, very muddled makeup and detailing to match uh, as close as they could get the clothes that he was also wearing in the same movie. So, pretty darn good looking print. He came from the giant UCS Tumblr set. I'm calling it the UCS Tumblr set. It was just called the Tumblr. Came out in 2014, and actually, I lied. He's, he's the most collectible Joker now. He's gone up to $40. If you want to get him brand new at his lowest possible buy price on Bricklink. So that actually makes him the most collectible in the collection. So anyways, that sort of makes sense in contemporary pop culture. I think he just is the most iconic and well-known Joker. Sorry, Mark Hamill. Okay, we're moving on. Uh, I like this guy because he's got the fedora. Also a 2014 release, he came out in the Joker steamroller set, which was one of the first sets we reviewed on this channel to give you guys an idea of at least uh, how we've dated ourselves in terms of Lego content. This was one of the first Jokers we ever unboxed for uh, the Lego channel. Anyways, he's got a he's got a bullhorn with the little bang sticker on it. I like this a little bit more than the Tommy gun. It feels a little bit more cartoony. And it's the first time we see his blue vest print, uh, which also kind of reminds me a little bit of something Jack Nicholson wore but really it's not, it's not the same detailing. Anyways, uh, good though. He's got just the one print because he's got the fedora, so he doesn't have any alternate stuff. So that expression is actually unique to him. And he is $5 total. His goon, $2 from the same set, also exclusive, just uh, for some reason or another, uh, he's just not as sought after as the last goon, even though he does have an exclusive clown print. I would say maybe it's not quite as cool. Uh, certainly the, the print here is unique, but it's not as cool as the Joker's face, like sort of biker jacket, almost like the last goon. Still a good looking guy. And I'm actually happy that he's just two bucks. He certainly seems like a useful, angry clown face if you wanted to have like a weird scene at a theme park or something to set up in a diorama. I'm just making mental notes for myself at this point. Here is the Joker with the blue vest and he's also got dual-sided expression. So it's just a different combination. None of these pieces are pieces we haven't seen before. Just they never came in this particular combination of parts. He came from the Jokerland set 2015. He's the very first 2015 fig. And just like the last video, I haven't bothered to go out and get a cream pie piece, so I just made up this little cupcake instead. Here's the next Harley Quinn. I just wanted to show you guys she's got an alternate expression, but the same mold for her head. Just like the last guy, she's a 2015 fig from the same set, the Jokerland set. And she's got herself a big old hammer and totally different printing that makes up the body. It's actually a little bit more revealing, I suppose. And this is one of the first times you see side printing on the legs, which is kind of nice. At least one of the first times you see it in sort of a standard playset. I think she's probably one of the cooler Harley Quinns out there. 
coming out to six dollars which isn't crazy in terms of a collectible figure and here is the joker from 2016 he is from the classic Batman TV series Batcave set, and of course he's the figure that is supposed to look just like the actor that played the original Joker, at least the first form of him in physical, real human form from the 1960s show. The, the, the print is amazing. There's actually a lot of details to point out here. Uh, you can even see that they painted over his mustache. Uh, you can see a little bit of mustache printing there above his lip because the actor actually refused to shave for the role. <laughs> but anyways, uh, really, really good looking details all around. There's even a little bit of darker pink shading uh, around by the suit and vest. He's just $9. He came out in 2016, same year as, of course, the set that he came out in. And then this is, I think, where we ended the video last time. Uh, with this Harley Quinn. She came out in a visual dictionary from 2016, just a $5 fig, and uh, totally different printing. Really, 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 quite, kind of very different. Dang, these, these, uh, these, this hammer makes it difficult for, uh, for her to spin around. But, and now we're moving on. We are totally moving on to new figs. From the Dimensions team pack, this Joker just has a slightly different uh, expression for his face, or sorry, I think he comes with, yeah, no expression on the back of his head when normally that print does have an expression. That's what makes him exclusive. That's it. There's nothing special about him. He is $4 and we are moving on to the year 2017. And yes, this is the first Joker from the Lego Batman movie. So you can see the expression for his face is completely different. He's got the little fang tooth. Uh, he still has the bang gun and totally different prints all around. He's got a vest, sleeves, prints for his arms, everything, totally different hairpiece. Personally, I think this kind of Joker actually looks pretty good, though uh, I don't know how collectible he is. A lot of people aren't really into these types of sets and aren't really into this particular kind of Joker. There we go, we can see him from the back. He came out in the Notorious Lowrider set and uh, just sells for $4. Now, Harley Quinn also came out, I believe, in the same set. Well, that and the Joker Manor Dynamic Duo Funhouse Escape, as well as the Harley Quinn foil pack. So she's a little bit more common. Also just being $4, but dang, look at all of those prints. If they didn't go highly detailed with their figures, uh, then I don't know what is highly detailed for their figures. Really, really good. Uh, their, her, her expression along with the Joker is just a little bit wider, a little bit more obtuse. I love the expressions though. She also comes with uh, those little roller skates as well and an, an especially printed bat for her. So she's probably one of the cooler Harley Quinns, but there's other ones that we're gonna get to in just a second. And then this is probably the more common version of the Joker here. He's got his uh, coattails, his little curvy coattails. His first set was in the Balloon Escape, but he came out in a couple others. And uh, he's also got his more common expressions with the big toothy grin and then the open laughing face. He's got the neck bracket on here. He also came out without a neck bracket and other sets and is just $3. Now there's a slightly different version of him. It's just the other expression that we saw on the sleeveless version of Joker, just now onto the version of him with coattails. Technically that counts out as an exclusive version of Joker. This version of him appeared in the Scuttler so he's, I don't know, he's three bucks to buy. And then the next Harley Quinn comes with a tutu and a hammer. So pretty darn good looking. Also the print for her is totally different than the last one, but just as detailed. I feel like they, they cared more about making Harley Quinn look good uh, from this movie and the set of sets that she comes out in. She's 10 bucks and came out in the Batwing set. Uh, still, all 2017. A lot of these guys are 2017 releases. And we've gotten to the next Arkham Asylum Joker in his prison jumpsuit. Expressions we've seen before, hairpiece we've seen before, just a new print right here for the torso and also the legs. It says Arkham in the back, and this Joker is $4. Funny enough, it's always it's always the Dr. Harleen Quinzels that actually are more expensive than the Jokers from these sets. She's six bucks from the same set, and she comes with a special little print that, you know, it's like a little chart from Arkham Asylum. She's got red glasses, a nice red scarf. That's actually a pretty useful print, I would say, just for a female doctor in general. And I also like the hair mold print used for her, which was the first time that appeared in that color. We get another Joker that we saw, just like from the Notorious Lowrider, 
Just now he's got a different set of expressions that we've also seen on other figures. He appeared in the Joker Manor set, he is $5. And then we've reset the figs again, but this guy is still from the same Joker Manor set. Uh, just $3, which is interesting, he's actually cheaper than the repeat from this set, but he is the Disco Joker. I think this guy is awesome. I'm so surprised that he's such a cheap guy, came out in such a uh, expensive collectible set. But anyways, that's just sort of the nature of collectability. Sometimes guys don't uh, totally match up with what you think is really gonna be more expensive in the aftermarket. I think he's pretty cool though. And then uh, from the collectible minifigure series, we get the nurse version of Harley Quinn. Uh, so it's not Dr. Harley and Quinzel, it's Harley Quinn, but as a nurse, so it's not, it's kind of a crossover. You can see that she still has a chart there for Joker, which is sort of like a love note and everything. And then we also get another version of Joker from the Arkham Asylum. He's got an exclusive expression. Uh, felt like a little bit of a waste of a collectible fig in my personal opinion. Both of these collectible figs are three bucks. And then we're moving on to a weird one. This guy came out in a junior set. He's got an exclusive frowny face expression. Came with a hammer also in this set. It was the Joker Batcave Attack. He is $5 coming from a junior set. And now we, well that was also 2018 and this is also another 2018 fig. Harley Quinn from the Cannonball Attack set. Really interesting, really, really good prints all around. Uh, awesome cape, exclusive cape and collar. She's got an exclusive helmet as well. Really, really good looking, sort of evil Knievel Harley Quinn. She's three bucks. And then from the Mighty Micro sets, we get a Joker who looks very much, he's got detailing that is actually closest to that from what you saw from the animated TV series. And then you get another Harley Quinn with the best expression probably out of, I don't know, any minifigure ever made, who knows? Uh, good detailing though, I like these guys. The Mighty Micros figures are always really fun. In my personal opinion, they're each two bucks. Uh, they came out on their own respective Mighty Micro sets. And then we've got the collectible minifigures from, from collectible minifigure series two from the Lego Batman movie. So you get the disco version of Harley Quinn, Vacation Joker. So you can see pretty much everything on both of these guys is totally exclusive in terms of expressions and uh, the, the, at least the mold for Joker for the for the floaty. Joker, Joker, or sorry, Disco Harley Quinn is to match up with the Disco version of Joker from the Manor set. Each of these is uh, three bucks. Also, I'm putting this in right now. Guess who forgot about Suicide Squad Harley Quinn? Or I should really say Apocalypseburg Harley Quinn. Uh, she came out in the Apocalypseburg set. Uh, this is her approximate price. And yeah, really good looking print all around. Good, good, good looking fig. And I'm really sorry, guys. I usually don't forget to uh, forget figs in collections. But anyways, I, I remembered last minute. That brings the final count up to 37 figs. And I'm cutting back to the rest of the video. And then very recently from 2019, we've got the Joker from Batmobile Pursuit of the Joker. This is the first time they've revisited uh, a non-Lego movie version of the Joker this year. Uh, pretty interesting looking guy. I like the new vest print. This is the first time we get like new body print for a baseline version of the Joker, even though the head is still the same as before. He comes with a stud gun. No prices yet are listed for him because he's such a new and recent guy, but usually his price is going to is gonna calm down. I have a feeling he's going to probably end up being like three or four bucks in the aftermarket after a couple of years. That's just my guess. And then these two guys came from a Junior's Batman set that also came out at the same time, 2019. It's an Arkham Asylum Junior set, so we have Arkham Asylum prints. And that is a new hair piece for Harley Quinn, which is awesome. I like that she comes with a bat. And then there's also a hat piece that came uh, in the set, not necessarily with the Joker, but I mean, come on, who else would it really be for? Actually, it could be for the Penguin, it doesn't really matter. I gave the hat to the Joker because it's purple. Could be the Penguin's hat now that I'm thinking about it. But anyways, uh, yeah, these two guys don't know the prices either. They could be a little bit more just because that is an exclusive like hair mold piece uh, for Harley Quinn. I have a feeling she would be, definitely be the more collectible version of the mini figs, at least of the two that came out from this set. So anyways, guys, let me show them all together again. And all right, here are all of the Joker, Harley Quinn and henchman minifigures one more time in our uh, minifigure display cases. So let me know what you guys think about this new format. 
I'm playing around with trying to make collection videos a little bit more fun and easy and flowy for me personally, uh, just to make more collection videos because we have so many fun updates I think that we could do for the channel because collections obviously are growing like crazy. The original version of this video that came out in 2016 had 15 total minifigures and now it is up to, I think this is 36 in just an extra couple of, or sorry, three more years. So yeah, it, it, it certainly has grown and I think there's gonna be a Lego Batman movie too. So you can count on this collection growing in the next couple of years. So let me know what you guys think about this more free flow talking format. It certainly is easier to make the video and I think I can make more collection videos like this in the future, but anyways, if you guys wanted to get the uh, to get a minifigure display case, we do sell them at our web store. That's www.brickfault.toys. And uh, once again, let me know what type of collection you'd like to see us do in the future, like an update video or a new collection video. And also, if I were to get any type of new Joker or Harley Quinn minifigure, I would definitely, definitely, definitely want to get a minifig from, I don't know, probably, like I said, maybe or in the middle of the video, uh, a Joker that is holding the original Joker mask like we saw from the first episode from the Batman TV series. But anyways, thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you enjoy our content, you can always like or subscribe. And we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Hey everybody, just popping in very quickly. I'd like to let you guys know we've got ourselves a Lego web store that is www.brickvault.toys where we sell the PDF step-by-step -step instructions for some incredibly high quality Lego mocks. It's absolutely worth checking out. The revenue from the web store helps support us here at the channel as well as the designers that put these amazing builds together. So anyways, that's www.brickvault.toys. Thanks again for watching and we will see you next time at Brick Vault.